uh, one last uh, mention on this whole uh, uh, ebook side is that uh, Amazon is the leader today, and <coughs> Apple is coming on strong, but the other big one that is announced is Google Editions. And in my estimation, two, three years from now, Google Editions could be bigger than both of these. Uh, because they've been uh, scanning books since 2004, and we've been working with them to do that, uh, when they have 600 uh, of our products right now between both white papers, our articles, as well as uh, books. And they are going to be making those available now from their own e-store, where all of the content will be up in the cloud on the servers like Gmail, but they'll be available to basically any mobile device you can, you can name. Uh, so nothing will be on a dedicated reader like what the Kindle is doing as Apple is doing. And so this thing could just completely explode. Uh, if you look at our uh, business so far, in terms of our ebooks, we did out of $6.3 million in revenue last year, we did 305000 in digital, uh, so it's about 5%. And half of that, so about 2.5%, was in this ebook area. So the ebooks that we've done so far have been uh, about 2.5% last year. Uh, but if you look at our digital for the first five months of this year, that 305,000 is on a pace to go to about 490,000, which is a 60% increase. And the biggest part of that increase is coming from eBooks. And already on Apple, just after one month of reporting, they are one fourth the size of Amazon. And Amazon's given us about $16,000 per month. First month in, Apple's giving us 4,000. Uh, and that's just on about 50 titles versus almost 300 titles that Amazon has. So we think that's gonna be, uh, very, very big. So my second, uh, third overall area is this beyond ebooks, and I want to address it from a both point of view of products uh, as well as uh, uh, non-products or uh, viral marketing type of aids. So the ones I'm going to be covering are uh, books 24/7, Safari Online, self-assessments, webinars, toolkits, white papers, and apps. And I've got a couple of slides on books 24/7. Uh, the uh, uh, in the apps, and uh, but I want to just say a quick word on the uh, self-assessments. Uh, we did we have a, a leading book, which is Leaders Make the Future, from Bob Johansson that came out last year, and we created a really cool little assessment where you can then see the ten skill sets that that leaders need for the future. And as an example, uh, the Harvard Business Review on a big symposium they were doing on leadership just picked it up and started sending everybody to that assessment, and all of a sudden we saw this huge amount of uh, traffic coming to our site and where it was coming from, well, it was coming from that article because they thought that's a great way to show what that book does. And so uh, cool marketing assessments uh, can, can uh, 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 really help as well. So uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is the Books 24-7. And this is a really neat uh, operation. And the reason I want to talk a little bit and spend a little time on it is uh, uh, Maria, uh, Maria Jesus Aguilo went and found this relationship back in 2000, before they really even were known to most book publishers. And we've been one of their longest partners now. Uh, this partnership re uh, uh, represents almost, or actually half of our digital sales right now. So out of that $305,000, half of that is basically last year coming from this, this partnership. And what they do is it's a, it's a, it's a business uh, database where they take 25,000 titles from 300 publishers all over the world. Uh, they then sell it as a subscription basis to the Fortune 500 companies around the world. Uh, and then, uh, based on employees going in and looking at things, uh, the publishers are then paid uh, based on usage. So we just get big checks four times uh, a, a year based on uh, usage. Uh, uh, and we have about 200 books now that are inside this. Uh, 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 books 24-7. And this particular one, just to show you how it looks, is that's managing from Henry Mintzberg, and they're going into chapter four, and then from there they're exploding out into a page, and they're actually looking at the page. And what would happen is if someone went in there and spent 20, 30 minutes on that, that 20, 30 minutes would be credited toward how much time that company is using, and that's what we would be paid for. Uh, so the 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 strength of this is that it really shows that uh, content from publishers is being now distributed uh, on an as-you-needed basis in smaller and smaller chunks at the page, paragraph, and chapter level uh, in ways that can be uh, very 
very uh, uh, lucrative for the uh, publishers. And Books 24-7 as a company, too, is interesting because they're owned by Skillsoft, and Skillsoft is one of the leading online training companies uh, in the world. Uh, and their primary business is online courseware, so training, leadership management, and so forth, where you actually take full courses from them, either synchronous or asynchronous uh, type of courses. And they say, this is our formal training. And then they say Books 24-7 is our informal training, where if you're looking for skill and career development tips, or if you're looking for uh, fast uh, Q&A or performance things on leadership, you've got, you go into the system and you get it. So all of the titles that we're using for are basically use, used for fast lookup uh, for informal training. And so we are already in the training business through, uh, through the Books 24-7 partnership. And self-assessments on the product side, I was talking a little bit about the, the uh, non-product side before with the leadership, uh, the leaders make the future. But we've actually created our first product uh, and released it earlier this year uh, based on the Courageous Follower from Ira Chalef. And this is a best-selling book now in its third edition. And what's interesting about this self-assessment area is we have about 75% of our titles would be a combination of BK Business and BK Life. And so many of them are saying, you know, you're trying to get from one place to the next, and so ass assess yourself on where you are now versus where you want to go. And given that, that means that there's a lot of titles in our uh, current inventory where we could then go and create these assessments uh, and then add them as complementary kind of companion products with the book. And so this is the first one. It's a subscription-based product uh, where you go in, you answer 20 questions, uh, it costs $10, uh, and then it gives you on a four by four where you are plotted in terms of what kind of follower you are and therefore what kind of manager you thrive under and conversely what kind of manager you don't thrive under. Uh, it's a nice little product that we're seeing both individuals buy, uh, universities as well as corporations uh, for uh, a classroom activity. So we see uh, a lot of interesting growth in this area. You could imagine one for Love em or Lose em, our big best-selling employee retention book. There would be an interesting one on this one as well. And uh, uh, finally, on the product side, uh, uh, Kristen had talked about uh, the power of purpose and how well this is doing now in its second edition. This was uh, one of the first books we had done with uh, Richard Leiter, uh, and it sold 150,000 copies already in its, uh, its first edition. And uh, we've now taken it, and uh, it's already on the iPad uh, as a ebook, but we're creating now a version that's an enhanced ebook where you get it off the iPad, and now as you're reading it, it's got uh, 15 minutes of video in the four different main sections of the book where you're hearing uh, Richard Leiter talk about those particular sections, and then he has some mini assessments uh, at the end of the book where you can go in and write down your own assessments, and it gives you uh, 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 his, his answers based on your assessment, and you can save your work. This would be all in the either iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch World, that 90 million uh, systems. And then uh, also it links into uh, a way for you to be in conversation as the reader, both with the author and other readers. Uh, there's some market research that has suggested that what consumers really want the most as they think about enhanced ebooks is to be in communication with other readers. So that last feature in terms of the community feature is going to be really exciting, and this product is coming out in the fall. So that was the beyond ebooks on more the product side. On the viral marketing side, uh, there's a number of things, and I had touched on that in the self-assessment earlier, but uh, BK Internet Movies, which I've talked about before, games, videos, and animations. I'm going to uh, uh, talk a little bit about the first one in the games and animations, but self-assessment we already covered. Videos, we have, these are the videos here. We have 50 videos uh, that have uh, uh, gone out on the YouTube and now they're going on to Amazon and Barnes and & Noble and all the e-commerce sites. And pretty much now, if you don't have a, a video, you're at a competitive disadvantage as an author on your page versus someone else who does. And so it's just becoming standard, and we're really helping people uh, to, get, to, to get these kind of uh, uh, videos set up. 